Hello children, welcome to Math Park. Our today's video is the part 2 of exercise 13b Pythagoras theorem class 9 ICC concise Elena. In this video, we are going to solve the remaining questions that is question number 6 to question number 10. So after going through this video, if you like it, please share with your friends and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Let us start with question number 6. In triangle ABC, where angle P is 90 degree, angle B is given as 90 degree, D is the midpoint of BC, D is the midpoint of BC, prove that AC square is equal to AD square plus 3D square, 3CD square. So, let us join AD. So, you have AC square, we have to prove AC square is equal to AD square plus 3CD square. We are given uh, right triangle ABC, where uh, right angle at B and D is the midpoint of BC. So, uh, let us in triangle ABD by Pythagoras theorem, AD is the hypotenuse. So, you get AD square is equal to AB square plus BD square. So, you get AB square is equal to AD square minus BD square. And now in this proof, we have CD. So, let us target uh, CD. So, how is BD and CD related? So, D is the midpoint. So, BD is nothing but equal to CD. Both parts are equal. That is how you get a B square is equal to A D square minus C D square. This is our equation number one. Now, let us target another triangle, uh, right triangle. So, where in triangle A B C, A C is the hypotenuse. So, you get A C square is equal to A B square plus B C square. Again, B C is nothing but we have to write in terms of C D. So, how B C and C D are related? So, B C is twice C D. So, we write instead of BC, we will write twice CD the whole square. Now, from equation 1, whatever the value was of AB square was there, AD square minus CD square, we will substitute over here. So, we get in place of AB square, we have written AD square minus CD square minus CD uh, 1 plus 4, which is going to be plus 3D CD square. This is how you get AC square is equal to AD square plus 3 CD square. So, what are we to focus on? What is given and what is to be proved? So, by Pythagoras theorem, whatever statements we are getting, on your left hand side, on your right hand side, you should be left with CD square, 3 CD square. So, whatever parts of BC are there, that all we are going to write in terms of CD, that should be our target. Question number 7, in rectangle ABCD, prove that AC square plus BD square is equal to AB square plus BC square plus CD square plus DA or AD square. Let us join the diagonal AC. So, by Pythagoras theorem in triangle ABC, this is in triangle ABC by Pythagoras theorem, you get AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Let this be our equation 1. Now, let us join the diagonal BD. Now, in triangle, uh, in triangle, in triangle BDC, you get BD square, which is the hypotenuse is equal to BC square plus CD square, okay? Square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the square of other two sides. Now, since in our right-hand side of what is to be proved, we need what? BC square, we need CD square, we need DA square and AB square, okay? Now, we have already got AB square plus BC square in very first equation. Now, in the next equation, we also have got BC square, plus CD square. CD square is required here. BC is already done. We need DA. So, how are BC and DA related? So, we have BC is equal to DA. That is how in place of BC, we have substituted DA over here. Now, let us add these two equations. This is because BC is equal to DA. Opposite sides of rectangle are equal. Adding equation 1 and 2, left hand side is added to left hand side. We get AC square plus BD square is equal to AB square plus BC square plus CD square and plus DA square. Got it? Easy. Moving to question number 8. In quadrilateral ABCD, angle B is 90 and angle D is 90. 2. You have to prove that 2 AC square minus AB square is equal to BC square plus CD square plus DA square. Let us join the diagonal AC. So, by Pythagoras theorem in triangle ABC, we have AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Okay. Now, rearrange this. BC goes here. 
So you get AB square is equal to AC square minus BC square. Okay. In triangle ADC by Pythagoras theorem, you have AC square is equal to AD square plus CD square. This is our equation number two. Let us take the left hand side of the equation. What is to be proved? 2AC square minus AB square. Now in this, whatever the value of AB square was there in equation number one that we are going to substitute over here. So here you get 2AC square we write as it is. In place of AB square, we have written AC square minus BC square. Open the bracket, you get 2AC square minus AC square minus of minus is plus BC square. 2AC square minus AC square is AC square plus BC square. Okay. Now this we have got uh, 2AC square minus AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square. Now BC square is already over here. Now, how is AC square related with CD and DA? So, you have AC square is nothing but you have AC square is equal to CD square plus DA square. Correct? Where? In triangle ADC. Correct? So, this is how you from 2, you get it here. 2 AC square minus AB square is BC square plus CD square plus DA square. Got it? So, what have we done? In place of this AC square, what did we write? We wrote CD square plus DA square. This is how we got 2 AC square minus AB square is equal to BC square plus CD square plus DA square. Question number 9. O is any point inside the rectangle ABCD. We have to prove that OB square plus OD square is equal to OC square plus OA square. This becomes true for... Now look here, OA square plus OC square, OB square plus OD square. This becomes true for any rectangle, any point taken. Now let us start proving for that. We will be now drawing a line parallel from O. So we have drawn here GH, which is parallel to DC. We have GH is parallel to DC and AB. Now let us draw EF. Let us draw EF which is parallel to AD and parallel to BC. This is our construction. Now let us target OB square and OD square. Now OB square we consider the right triangle here. So we get OB square is equal to in triangle. In triangle OEB you get OE square. This is the hypotenuse. This is the right triangle here. So you get OE square plus BE square. Now uh, BE square, let it be OE is equal to, you have OE square plus BE square is equal to AH square plus BE square. So, how this AH? Because you have uh, OE is equal to AH. These two sides are equal. Opposite sides of rectangle are equal. So, that is how in, in place of EO square, we have written AH square now. Now, let us target OD square. So, you have OD square in this rectangle, in this uh, right triangle. You have HD square plus OH square. So, OD is the hypotenuse. So, this is for triangle OHD. So, you get HD square plus OH square. So, HD square we kept as it is. We take instead of OH, now we have written AE. OH and AE are equal because they are the opposite sides of rectangle. This is our equation number 2. Let us add this equation 1 and 2. We get OB square plus OD square is equal to AH square. So, AH square, BE square plus HD square plus AE square. This is our equation number 3. Now, we will be targeting OC square and OA square. So, OC square is equal to CG square. This is the CG square plus OG square. We have taken which triangle? We have taken triangle OGC over here. Now, in this, you have CG is equal to HD because opposite sides of rectangle are equal. These two are going to be equal. Okay. And we have uh, CG square is equal to HD square and OG square, OG square is equal to PE square, these, these parts are equal, OG and B are equal. So, this is our equation number 4. What are we doing here? We have got here AH, PE, HD and AE. Those are the parts we are obtaining for OC and OA. Now, 
let us take OA square. For OA square, we are taking triangle here. If we get AH square, we are taking this triangle. So OA is the hypotenuse. This is the right triangle over here. We get AH square plus OH square. Now AH square was already over here. So we keep this over here. Now OH is equal to AE. Here OH is equal to AE. OH and AE are equal because EOHA is a rectangle. Let us add equation 4 and 5. We get OC square plus OA square is equal to AH square plus AH square plus BE square plus HD square plus AE square. Now, compare the equation 3 and 6. So, from 3 and 6, look what we have. We have AH square, we have AH square here. We have BE square, we have BE square here. We have HD square, we have HD square here. And we have AE square and we have AE square here. So, this is how from 3 and 6 we get OB square plus OD square is equal to OC square plus OA square. Got it? The last question of this exercise, in the following figure, OP, OQ and OR are the perpendiculars to the side BC, CA and AB respectively of this triangle ABC. Prove that AR square plus BP square plus CQ square is equal to AQ plus C. So, here we need to have right triangles. For that, we will be now joining AO, joining OB and joining OC. Now, let us target AR square. So, AR square, we are going to use this triangle. So, we have AR square is AO square minus OR square because AO is the hypotenuse. So, we got AR square is equal to hypotenuse square minus OR square. That is how AO square minus OR square. Now, let us take BP. So, we get BP square is equal to OB square minus OP square. Now, we have to take CQ. So, we have CQ square is equal to CQ square is equal to OC square minus OQ square. Right? Now, let us add these three equations because we need on LHS AB square plus BP square plus CQ square. Okay? On adding, we got AR square plus BP square plus CQ square. We just added the left hand side to left hand side and right hand side to right. Now what we need, already in the LHS, we have AR square, BP square plus CQ square. Here we need AQ square. Now how do I get AQ square from this side? So we have AQ square, AQ square is equal to, we get AQ square is equal to uh, AO square minus OQ square. So AQ, AO square minus OQ square for this we get what? AQ square. Okay. Now we want CP square. So how do I get CP square? Observe carefully. So CP square, I'm going to get OC square minus OP square. So CP square is equal to OC square minus OP square. So for this we get CP square. Okay. CP square is equal to OC square minus OP square. So, we are going to put it over here, CP square. Instead of AQ and minus OQ square, we have put, a, oh, sorry, instead of AO square minus OQ square, we have written, we are going to write AQ square. Now, we are left with BR square. So, how do I get BR square? It is going to be OB square minus OR square. Look, BO square minus OR square. So, instead of this, we can put now BR square. So, this is how AO square minus a, AOQ square is AQ square. OC square minus OP square is CP square and OB square minus OR square is BR square. This is how we get AR square plus BP square plus CQ square is equal to AQ square plus CP square plus BR square. Got it children? So if you find this video is useful, please share with your friends. Let them also be, get help. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.